Hey, this is Peter Diamandis with your video espresso shot. I want to talk to you today about how do you avoid a negative mindset. Now, you may have heard me speak about this in the whole theme of abundance, that literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you are constantly bombarded by negative information. Literally on every device you have, your cell phone, your tablet, your radio, television, newspaper, 24 by 7, the media is hitting you with negative information over and over and over again. And there's a reason for this. You know, literally, as we were evolving as humans on the plains of Africa, you know, if you missed a piece of good news, well, that's too bad. Miss a piece of bad news, and it could have been your life. You know, think about a, a rustle in the, in the bush. If you thought it was wind, but it was a tiger, you're screwed. So at the end of the day, our brains, an ancient piece of the temporal lobe evolved called the amygdala that is literally scanning everything you see and hear for negative news. And if it hears negative news, it puts you on red alert. You literally, you like focus on only that piece of negative news. And that's why our media and our politicians use this. They use the negative news to capture your attention. You know, I actually went and did a study. I looked at all the Time magazine covers between 1950 and 2010, over that 60-year period, and looked at how much, how many of them were, you know, sort of good news stories, neutral, and like fear negative news stories. And it starts at 5% in 1950 and grows to over 50%. So literally, that's what's going on. So. At the end of the day, what I do is I filter my news for stuff that I care about. And I do that. I go on Google News, for example. I look at the science and I look at the engineering technology section. You know, I go to websites uh, like singularityhub.com, uh, which looks at all the exponential technologies and those things that are, you know, improving my world, or kurzweilai.net. You know, if there's a piece of negative news out there, you don't have to hear it firsthand. If it's critical, your friends will tell you about it. But you are the environment in which you live. If you're living in an environment of negative news, you're going to have a negative perception. You're going to be thinking about the downside always. So I encourage you, think about the upside. Think about, you know, the positive things going on in the world. They will help you dream, help you think big, and help you do bold things in the world. Thanks. See you next time.